guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode four of season three of the Irregular on Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Of course, that's not good. Right? Right? Huh? Ah, these two. You did not just say that! What the fuck is wrong with you? Right? But, okay, hold on. Can we do this outside of school grounds? We don't need you two getting in trouble again.
right? You know, that would make sense. I mean, Jesus, because these two just, like, want to duke it out like they're a freaking couple or some shit. So, fuck it. Let them fight. Me. If, he, if he wants to do it, fuck it. Just do it. That might be game for him. Okay. <sighs> Damn.
true, but... Once I got four weeks into the show, and he is still making himself look like an ass. You were saying, oh my god. That didn't work either. You want to try again? now <laughs> right <sighs> yeah I mean cuz he did call you a weed and all so
That is a store loser run. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. She's just here to talk to you. Knowledge, strength, any other abilities? Talent. Don't be a dick all the time. Seriously, like, I, I mean, dead ass. He, he's learned today that, yes, even though him and the twins fucked up on their match, with the fact that somebody came back in after that match, wholesomely kicked his ass without any per se he, he's like okay this is how I felt about him not only because of the fact that he's an ass he's a little too overconfident to me and he wants to necessarily show off and it's like not a, you can't do that every single fucking time like dude sit your ass down relax and stuff that's why, like, not once but twice, he ran away. He He's still an interesting character. Shippo is an interesting character, but he is a little bit of a dick. Hella too freaking overconfident and such. Just like, dude, sit your ass down. Like, bruh. Four weeks in, and he finally got his ass humbled by somebody else. By two, three different people, in a way. And then also Tazi as well, but not in the way that I thought. I mean, is she kind of suggesting that he's going to betray them? Right. He cares way too much about Miyuki.
And if that means hurting Tatsuya, possibly? Which means hurting Tatsuya, yeah. Because who does Miyuki care about the most? Tatsuya! And, and see, Miyuki's going to do everything in her power to do anything for Tatsuya and vice versa. They care about each other way too much. I, I mean, come on now. So, psh, do I think that, like, mm, anything could happen? Like, a potential kidnapping to a attack on either one of them? But, you know, be, this is a, another thing that I'm also thinking about as well. Because these two are always together. We've seen that ever since season one. They're always together, like, almost 24-7. We have There's a couple of moments of where, like, Miyuki and Tatsuya are kind of separated, but then eventually they find their way back to each other. Now, that could possibly happen where, yes, one of them gets kidnapped and the other one has to rescue the other. 9 out of 10, it's going to be Miyuki, and then Tatsuya's going to come after her and such. But we all know, like, Miyuki can handle herself at the end of the day. But whatever our lovely little bitchy aunt is currently planning, I don't like it, not one bit. But um, something tells me we're going to see the quote-unquote start of her plan next week. Who knows? I don't know. But, like, ooh. hopefully with, um, with, about, with his situation, I am hoping that due to this ass-kicking and watching someone else, you know, lose against a match against Tatsuya, this has really taught him a lesson to, you know, just because... You're, 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 you're a hot kid. Because he really thinks he's the hot shit. Um, doesn't mean you don't need to respect your elders. And especially because I get it, yes. We're looking at someone who, a different student who has a year knowledge and strength and talent, like, ahead of you. So I get the reason why he's, like, over, over here, like, Princess of, mm, that's not really a word progressively there we go that's what i meant to say progressively like questioning not only himself but others being like we're we're around the same length and age but how is it that someone who's a year older than me school wise has all this talent but we're both in the same high school but it, it's just like that you can't be mad about that because that's you're gonna find that out even in the real world that there, there are gonna be more people who are like who have vastly mo bleh, more knowledgeable than you or just talents than you and you can't be upset and whine like a little bitch every single freaking time someone is over here and wipes you off the floor and that's what he's doing and so i really hope that like he takes this especially that moment with what's her face's sister and to take the initiative to do better and to be better i mean he, he could be a completely different person when we see him next Friday, or he could just be to his same bullshitty self. But, of course, we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode four of season three of The Irregular at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day to the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday when I come home from work. Because, unfortunately, I gotta go back to work next week, which sucks. Um, for episode five, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.